Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday morning. <clears throat> I'm up. The vent is on because I'm cooking. It's almost 7.30. I'm cooking my husband's dinner, excuse me, lunch for work and batches so I can be done. Yeah, y'all. I know some of you guys are probably thinking, does she do this every day? I just about. But I'm home and I enjoy cooking. So I make my husband's lunch about every day. Maybe once every two weeks. I don't. To me, it's not that bad. Some days I'm like, girl, I'm, I don't have time to be making your lunch. Uh, so I'll just do a quick salad. It takes no more than 15 minutes. If I don't have time to cook, I'll do a salad. But today I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Um, I have a package of chicken tenders. And this is basically three days of food. So I have that going away. And then I purchased one of the Kroger's stir fry meals that comes with a package of sauce so here are the veggies all done now i do things a little bit different even though that was a package of stir fry let me show you an example because i bought two of them and they were on sale 249 so i got two of these for five bucks basically this one right here is curry coconut curry um and it, again they come with two packages of sauce i only use one in a pack jb get this child straight together I only used one and a half packages I didn't use all two and so I stir fried the veggies I added my own seasonings onion powder garlic powder a little bit of salt because these packages typically have a lot of sodium this is three meals for us okay three days of food um, and if you don't eat meat, hold on let me show you what I do with the chicken so I had a package of chi chicken tenders that I cut up and I put the sauce that came with the package with this um, adding a little bit more sauce, some hot sauce I had in there, some sariracha sauce, onion powder, garlic powder, no more sodium, okay, I, I put a little bit of Himalayan pink salt, let me turn this off, on the actual chicken, and that's it, I'm going to spoon this on top of the veggies, if you don't eat veggies, excuse me, if you don't eat chicken, meat at least, you can just do rice or noodles, and I think that's very affordable, look, it doesn't cost a lot of money to eat, eat pretty good. Go straight. Mm. But we don't need to push anything now. Come on. Fall reef does 50% off. And then the bathtub. Skeleton in the bathtub. Spiders, these are pretty, but not not for sixty dollars, girl. Oh, because I've gotten some stuff at um, Michaels before, especially the pictures in our back guest room were from Michaels. I mean, Halloween stuff from Christmas time. I know that's how I feel. But mommy, awesome. mommy likes the Christmas village. Mommy will have to get some more stuff for the village, though. As long as you don't touch it, right? Raccoons in the... Oh, that child is having some issues. This color. Okay. But, you get to choose. I need that map. It's not a map. Yes, it is. Okay, it's a map. I used it to get to you. Oh, okay. I will. Can you trace, cut it around the line? Is that easy to do? Multicolored, and he can be like a parrot. Oh, really yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Whatever color you want. Green. Green. Blue. I love this stuff because you can make your own sticker. Yeah. Own sticker. Oh. Now I want some of that glue. Want some of that glue? I and had no idea they were such a big deal. Me too. I, well, that's the first time I've ever, ever seen one. Ever. Same. And I had people messaging me on Facebook, like friends, like, hey, do you guys still have this part? My, me and my wife still need that. Really? Okay. There we go. Use only. Would you like some help? 
actually want to glue the lines. No, it's it's good, baby. Hold it up for mama. It looks so good. Awesome. Right here. Good morning, good morning. It is Sunday. I'm not in a good mood, so excuse my energy if it seems off. My hair is cute though, isn't it? Yes. Wash and go. Um, <laughs> excuse me. JP has not been sleeping well ever since we got back from Texas, meaning he will wake up one o'clock, three o'clock, and then he'll eventually go back to sleep. Not this morning. He woke up at three o'clock, crying, was able to get him back to sleep for an hour. He was up for the day by 4.30. He has literally been crying off and on since three o'clock this morning. It is now 7.30. My husband, I know he's cranky because he goes to bed at midnight. Long story short, morning is done. We're gonna go to church. I'm tired. There's just no way I can do the nine o'clock or 11 o'clock. But I don't like to be at home not doing anything. <laughs> She's how I am. So we're gonna go to Walmart, pick up a few things. I'm not in the mood for this child. This is one of those days where I, I need a little break. I if I had some Hello. No, no, no. If I had some Xanax, I would have taken it by now, but I don't. You know, I don't have any bone anxiety. Deep, bone deep. So it is what it is, y'all. Um go wipe your mouth off, JB. I did you have spit on the side. Are right, you guys? So I'm making um stew. And with stew, big difference between stew and soup, you don't add a lot of liquids. I'm gonna add some red wine, some tomato paste, excuse you know who, water and some chicken stock. Like literally, it's probably about that much water. And one tablespoon of this chicken stock. We have raw. Oh y'all, I'm gonna finish up this beef stew and we're gonna have garlic bread on the side and I got peach cobbler. So I know I don't cook, show y'all cooking as much as I used to is mostly in my vlogs. I'm gonna give y'all two cooking people you need to follow. I think most of you guys know by Divas Can Cook, you know I heart recipes, you know cooking with Carolyn. You need to follow these two sisters, additional. Marty Cornish, that's M-A-R-T-Y Cornish, Cornish. C-O-R-N-I-H-I-S-H. I'll put the link down below to her channel. When I tell you homegirl can cook, and she hasn't posted a video in three years, and she can sing, I can tell that this is someone who is used to cooking for large groups of people, because she has huge, um, almost like almost like um, Chris cooked for you. She has huge bowls. I'm like, where the hell are you getting this stuff from, girl? She has a recipe for hot water cornbread dressing. Oh, yes. Somebody's from the, from, oh, look at this hair girl. Somebody's from the country. Somebody got relatives from the country. Hot water cornbread. She has all types of recipes. Check her out. Another one is cooking with tip. Cooking with tip is country as hell. She's from Jacksonville, Florida. She cooks with a bonnet on. You already know, look. This is how you can tell good cooks. There's, there's several cues when you know someone can burn. Several cues. They got big titties. They got hanging breasts. That's, that's one of them. <laughs> They got big arms. The up arms especially are big. That's another one. They cook with a bonnet on. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm going to talk about this in my chit-chat video. I will, will probably record a chit-chat video tomorrow because I'm going to have to go ahead and detangle this hair, girl. But look, look at giving you something you can feel to let him know his love is real. Yeah, to detangle my hair because this right here is looking, yeah, but I don't know, y'all. Um, maybe if I could, I don't think this could last to Thursday, it's Tuesday now. Nah, she ain't gonna last to Thursday, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just do it today, do a detangle today. In my chit chat video, I will be discussing my love for BBC TV. I would say that I probably watch more 
British TV than anything. Like you y'all know my favorite sitcom is Keeping Up with Appearances. Um, I was a huge fan, a huge fan, I still am a huge fan of Mr. Bean. I used to watch it all the time while I was in um, high school actually, because that's how long it's been around. Um, yeah, so that will be coming up in my chit chat video, my love for British TV. But I do have a quick question while I'm on British people real quick. I have a quick question and we're gonna go into my little testimony. Do you guys have, those of you who live in other countries, and I know I have quite a few people who watch me in other countries, what size refrigerators do y'all have? <laughs> I've always, like this is, I'm curious. I'm curious, because this is why. Hear me out, hear me out, okay? Like I said, I, I watch a lot of British TV, and I notice, especially in kid, keeping up appearances, Hyacinth, when she's going in and she's doing her little thing, girl, she has a little small refrigerator, and that's what we would typically use for college dorms, uh, for like a game room that we have in our house. Americans, Westerners in general, we have large refrigerators. Not only that, but those of us who are from the Midwest, states like Utah, South Dakota, is that Midwest? Um, South Dakota, North Dakota, um, the South, Texas, where I'm from, Louisiana, Georgia, Kentucky, Arkansas, not only do we have refrigerators, but we also have deep freezers. And deep freezers are primarily used for freezing um, meat, and ice cream, <laughs> no, but no, um, because there's so many people, sorry y'all, lifting myself up. A lot of us uh, in the South or you know the Midwest, there's a lot of hunting going on, there's a lot of fishing, and so especially with my family, they do a lot of fishing, and so they have deep freezer. I don't know anyone in the South who does not have a deep freezer. So it was so funny when we were back home, my best friend was going out. She was telling JB, she's like, I have to go out and I'll get you some ice cream. And JB's face was like, why is she going in the garage? I said, because her deep freezer is out there, baby. Yeah, it's not uncommon for Southern so, yeah. in the UK. If you're in Canada, y'all do y'all have regular size refrigerators or do you have the little small ones? Um, yeah. There are people out here who have multiple refrigerators, but definitely in the South, you typically have a refrigerator and a deep freezer. And a deep freezer, if you've never seen one, it's, I mean, there's different sizes. There's the long ones. You can get really long ones that are, you can literally put a body in. I shouldn't say that, but there have happened. People have killed people and they place bodies in the deep freezers. Um, but typically it's, I like the size of a little, of a counter and it goes up to your waist and yeah, you it's a deep freezer. But let me know. Right now it is pouring rain, pouring down raining in Phoenix. I mean, it has been raining nonstop since 6 a.m. It's 10. That's not typical for us here unless we're in the monsoon season. Um, so while I was j dropping JB off, I saw a, look like a, it was a mom with a stroller, had two littles in the stroller cover up and she had another little girl she was walking. And I was like, oh my God, they're gonna get drenched. By the time she gets up there, she's gonna get drenched. And there are some apartments around the way, so I'm like, did she walk from the apartments in the rain, girl? So I already had them in my mind to give her an extra umbrella. I purposely bought an extra one, just something told me, just go ahead and bring the extra one. So I purposely brought two umbrellas, one for me, one for JB, and then I had an extra one in the car, my big one. So I caught up, caught up with her as we got out, and I said, here, you can have the umbrella, and she hands it to the little girl that's walking next to her. She looked like she's about six or seven years old. She's like, thank you, whatever. We get up there, and um, as we're coming back around, I said, oh, you can keep the umbrella, because she was trying to give it to me. I said, oh, no, you can keep it to get back you know, to where you need to go, and I said, wait a minute, are you walking home, back home in this? She's like, yeah, my car broke down. I'm like, y'all, it is pouring down rain. Like, if you don't have an umbrella for a few seconds, you're gonna get soaked. So I said, oh no, I will drive you home. Do you live around the corner? I, I will drive you back. She's like, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Get her in, drop her around. She's literally right next to the apartment where we used to live at um, two years ago. By the time I helped her with the, you know, with the other children, and thank God I had extra booster seats in the car, so um, that wasn't a concern. But by the time I got back in the car, I was soaking wet. My clothes were, my feet were wet, and I'm country. Where I'm from, you don't walk around with your feet wet, your head wet, cold. You gotta change your clothes. So I said, like, oh no, I gotta go change my clothes. I gotta get dry. I'm gonna catch the flu. So I only live um, five minutes away from Jamie's school. 
get home, change my pants, change my shoes, I'm dry. I'm like, okay. And I'm, I'm trying to hurry up because at this point, I have an appointment to have my car serviced. And those of you know, I purchased a new Corolla. It's been out now three years. And um, you get free services for the first like two and a half years with this vehicle. Actually, it's been on almost three years. Two and a half years or so, I get free services, right? So I'm like, cool. So anyway, got to the car dealership. I let her know, by the way, there's also a light on, on what that light is. Um, and she said, well, what do you, what are you here for? I said, well, I guess I, I'm here for the 25,000 package, service package. She's like, okay. Um, I said, but can we check to see, you know, is my warranty? And I'm like, oh my God, I think my warranty expired. Go back check her system and sure enough, my warranty expired back in April. And she's like, you know what, it's on the house. We'll go ahead and take care of it. I'm like, really? She's like, yes. She said, but you may want to consider extending your warranty. It's an addition of $300. I said, well, how much would the service would have been? She said, $275. I said, you guys gonna take care of that? She said, yes, we, I got you. We're gonna take care of it. We're gonna check your tires. We're gonna refill. I said, thank you so much much because i don't know if i would have been able to afford that right now especially getting back from texas and having to make sure that i my coins are right okay i would have gotten an oil change but not the entire service pack. so yes won't he do it and here i am i wasn't sure if i definitely wasn't going to be able to afford that and i would have to just suck it up and just get a regular oil change but here I'm trying to rush to get this appointment and it was already done, already paid for, already there because of, I honestly do believe this, whether or not you believe in karma or whatever, good karma or good energy, I really do believe that what you put out there in the universe, it comes around to you. That's the fastest I've ever seen it happen for me personally, but I do things, let me put it like this, I don't do things to expect anything in return. I've never had that attitude. I do things because it's the right thing to do. Oh. Hey, you guys. So, look, y'all. How can I do this? Is this better? Yeah, this is what I have to do. <laughs> Excuse me. I wheeze a little bit because I have asthma. A little bit, girl. I wheeze a lot. But anyway, um, today is Thursday, and this week has been one of those weeks that it's, like, crazy. I think this is my first time vlogging since Tuesday. I'm always the one to come on here to say that, you know, life has its ups and downs. It's always not unicorns and fairy dust. And so because, you know, we have stuff going on in the house, so I'm like, I don't want to take this. You know, they don't want to, but I'm like, okay, this is real life. This is what I'm going through. I say all that to say, we were having some household issues, nothing personal, but the house itself. To tell, tell you real quick, and I need to hurry up because I have volunteer training this morning, okay? So when we came back from uh, Texas last week, I was cleaning up and stuff, and I'm the type of person, as things come up, I clean it up. I don't have a set schedule. So late last week, I noticed a smell in JB's room, and I'm like, oh, it's a little musty in here. Let me start, you know, let me take everything out, girl. When I, when I smell something, I'm like, let me just find it. Take everything out, make sure I... Um, clean all his clothes again you know excuse me his, his linens and make sure that everything's dusted and all that so I did that all last week well then three days ago let me turn on the car I'm getting hot three days ago I noticed a strong mildew smell and I'm like oh my god it smells like mildew my baby's in is is sniffing mildew so let me figure out where it's coming from so I pulled the bed um, away from the wall and I can smell it in the carpet and I'm like what the hell so I'm like oh we got to get rid of this right now so this was two days ago right two days ago I um, uh, put some vinegar on it and some baked baking soda cleaned it later on it smelled great it smelled fabulous that night JB woke up around midnight and it was a strong mildew smell and I'm like okay this is not right I mean JB and mind you he's been waking up like every other night since we got back from Texas and that and I've been assuming that it's due to the schedule but I think it's honestly due to the scent in his room so I was like okay baby you can come in here and sit with me he slept with us that night when was this this was the night before last two nights ago yeah two nights ago so then I, I'm like, I gotta get rid of this smell. I gotta get rid of this mildew. Cause at this point I'm thinking there's mildew growing on his carpet and I felt the carpet and in certain areas it was damp. And I'm like, this is weird. Why is the carpet damp in certain areas? So at this point I'm assuming that he must've spilled something. So I'm like, 
we got to do everything again. So this is the second time. Okay, my second time pulling everything out. I'm like, I got to clean everything. I got my vinegar together. I got rubbing alcohol. Tea tree oil is also really good for killing um, mold and mildew. Pull everything out. That's when I know this is a bookcase. And it has a water line about half a foot up. I'm like, okay, this is not from some damn bubbles. Because I'm thinking, y'all, that he may get spilled over his bubbles. But bubbles is not going to produce that amount of liquid. Okay, water damage. So I'm looking at it and I, I'm telling my husband. This is the one thing that kind of irks me about my husband. He takes what I say lightly. Because he be thinking I'm exaggerating shit. Now, I told his this a, a day before. I'm like, look this bookcase has like a half a foot watermark how is that possible and he's like i don't know you know he he may have spilled something we got to be careful when he's drinking i said jb doesn't drink anything back back there so i'm like whatever i pull it apart I, I have then i lift the carpet back and i've done this several times since i smelled it just to make sure there's nothing growing and i don't see anything right and so i asked my husband two times to go back there and check it i said i need for you to come back here and check it. and finally he does he goes back there this was yesterday and he pulls it back y'all he pulls it all the way back and there's a puddle of water and i'm like what the heck i'm like how in the frankenstein i'm trying not to curse how in the hell did a puddle and we're i'm not exaggerating my husband is speechless because he's looking at this like he's like how did this happen so he says he's like you know i think what have happened is that he drunk something and the water bottle uh fell back and it just spilled and went under the carpet and i'm looking at him like i said i don't know because we don't notice any damage on the wall, right? There's no damage on the wall. I said, I don't know, but we got to get rid of this. So I went to go buy an additional box fan, and I literally dried it all yesterday. And I'm looking at the spill, and I go back to my husband. I said, we got to use common sense. Because I'm looking at the water line on the carpet. It covers the entire wall of the carpet. So you trying to tell me that bubbles did that or a bottle of water? And he's like, well, there's no water damage to the wall or to the so it has to be something he spilled and i'm looking at him like i'm like okay you win this argument but in the back of my head i'm thinking no this ain't no damn bubbles so the next this morning let me back up last night yesterday i took almost i took 70 percent of the stuff in jb's room out pulled the carpet back and those fans has been in there all day all night right i set up the guest bedroom for jb and him and i slept in there oh girl sleeping with five-year-old JB and I slept in the back, back guest bedroom. Got up this morning and we're getting ready, right? Getting ready. 30 minutes before it's time for me to take his butt to school, I hear loud water and I hear it's the sprinklers outside. So I walk outside or behind the house and the sprinkler is shooting up. Uh, excuse me, it's the water irrigation system for our um, little, little area here. I ain't even got hardly nothing growing out front. And so I go in and tell my husband, I'm like, the sprinklers are shooting. And he's like, okay, I'll turn it off in a minute. I'm like, in a minute, it's flooding. So I go into JB's, JB's bedroom and there's a puddle of water again. I would say within less than a minute, it had there was a puddle. I said, we gotta shut that water off now. I'll go outside, can't find the key to the dang going water irrigation system. I'm like, okay, you know what, y'all, and my husband's not one of those, <laughs> he ain't got no tools. I bought him a damn toolbox. Well, Lord, anyway, that's besides the point. So he finally figures out how to just, how to shut down, shut off the water, right? And I take some more towels in there and clean up the, you know, the mess. And now I have the um, fans in there going. So, oh my God, dealing with that. So JB's room has to be inspected. We now well i went this morning to lowe's to see if i could find a key and i couldn't find a key there so after i have volunteer training i need to go ahead and go y'all i have volunteer training for his school and after that i need to go to home depot and see if we can find a key to open up the timer for the water irrigation because if not that's going to keep going thankfully i think it only comes on like once every other day or so but we need to turn it off i told him i said if we can't figure if we can't find the key we need to break it open Hi uh, y'all, so today has been, girl, the done deal. Um, did do the volunteer training, which was like 15 minutes. I know my hair looks a mess. I was supposed to do my hair today, not happening. Going to do my hair tomorrow, and I will more than likely do another wash and go because I have somewhere to be Saturday. And I don't do that, because typically, especially with uh, 
kinky, coily, textured hair. Your hair, oh, at least for me, and I know some of y'all too, my hair gets very tangled with a wash and go. So to do another wash and go, back to back, I typically don't do that, but I'll make sure to detangle my hair thoroughly in the morning and then do a video for y'all, record a video. That's better. Fair warning, I had to, like I told you, I had to take most of JB stuff out of here. Now where you can see the water stain, do you see this? Going all the way, you see it on the rug? Now, does it make sense? My husband thought those were bubbles. Girl, anyway. So, we know now that it's due to the irrigation system on the back. And you probably can't see that. Let me see if I can zoom in. There's water damage. And we were looking at water damage towards the bottom. Do you see that? Probably won't even zoom in. You see that right there? That's water damage. Also, so JV and I, the guest bedroom girl, is done a mess. We are going to be sleeping back here for a while. He can't sleep back here by himself, y'all. He's scared. So I had to put a lot of his stuff over here in the corner. And yeah, excuse, again, excuse it, you know, because I had to just throw a bunch of stuff back here. It typically doesn't look this bad. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. It is Saturday morning. I know, y'all, it looks like I'm wearing the same thing all the time. This is one of my mommy indoor uniforms. Um... It has been a trying week and a half. Disclaimer, and I will put it at the beginning of this vlog. This will be the course over the course of a week and a half. The footage you're seeing, almost two weeks. Um, I'll give y'all an update on the water leak that's in JB's room. Um, but last night was the first night that I had him to sleep in the guest bedroom by himself and he did now he slept from 7 30 to 4 in the morning I was up at 3 though and I did get some sleep um, I got about seven hours in chunks but I still got some sleep <sighs> just one of those damn weeks so today let you guys know what we have going on today we're gonna be doing a um, I'm a little scattered brain if you can't tell we're gonna be doing a class at Michael's, kind of like what you guys saw earlier in the vlog, but I'm not gonna film this one because I have a girlfriend coming with her son, Eli. Um, I think I mentioned, maybe I didn't, they're Dominican. I know I didn't mention it, they're Dominican. I have, a, I have several, not a lot. I have a couple of um, black Latino friends, so they're coming. And later on, that's it. That's all we have going on today now. Today, I need to get some stuff organized in the household. I felt like I couldn't get anything done with half the house being in disorganized and disarray. When it just makes me not feel complete when stuff is going on in the household. You know what I mean? And I can't get, I feel like I can't get things finished or complete. So I'm not gonna allow that to mess me up because yesterday I started planning, y'all. I have seen videos of other YouTubers who do playing with me videos and I was like, who the hell has time for that? But yesterday I found some stickers at the Dollar Tree. They didn't have a lot, but I found some stickers at the Dollar Tree. There was a couple of doctor's appointments I had to reschedule due to stuff around the house. And so basically I had to do half the month over. I spent an hour, it was so relaxing. So I think that's gonna be another, that's right up my alley because it's creative and um, it's productivity, which is right up my alley. So for the last two or three days, I've been watching videos on Alexis. She's in her trench coat. I love her. And I did end up, per I, excuse me, I did end up downloading some of her um, worksheet. I'm in the back guest room. Y'all, why? <laughs> The first night when I was sleeping with JV back here, my hair was in a high puff. Why? And I had it covered with a bonnet. Why was my puff getting stuck in these damn, the railing while I was asleep? Like the entire puff with the bonnet on. I was fit to be tied, girl. So anyway, update on the water situation. Um, got it under control. We had someone to come over here. Well, the water's been turned off, so there's no leakage. We had someone to come over yesterday, and he was like, there's really no water damage. He's like, you know, I don't suspect any mold or mildew because typically mold or mildew growth comes from a continuous leak that hasn't been caught, and if it's humid, that's when you have growth. So I was like, oh, good, because this is my baby's room. So since we caught it in enough time, there's nothing there. He doesn't suspect anything. He's like, I'm not going to spend the time to knock down a wall when I don't think there's anything behind there, you know. So um, he's like, I could do it if you want. I said, oh, hell no. <laughs> that's going to cost some coins. So um, he basically reiterated that once we get the irrigation system fixed, that that will 
uh, stop anything from happening. Like I said, it's turned off. The water's turned off. We were able to open up the box and turn off the timer. So we have another person to come by today to give us a second opinion just to make sure, okay, can never be, you know, it's good to be safe. All right, y'all, we are, um, just got some gas and got some coffee, got JB a donut. Get the JB a donut. The guys are at... Tasty donut. The guys are at our house fixing the irrigation system. They should be there all day. And so, um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and go to Walmart and pick up some groceries. My budget is, I budgeted $60. If I could do it under, yeah, $60 plus I have to get, well, no, that's mostly all food. $60 of food for a week and a half, including JB snacks and stuff, girl. JB, you need to eat real food. I'm sick of you eating muffins. Actually, he's been eating pancakes. He always eats pancakes, so he's, he ate some pasta the other day. So we see y'all. Let's go ahead and go, and hopefully this won't take too long. It'll give me two hours to rest. Should, yeah, should be back home by eight. It's 6.45 now. $55. Met my budget. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're here at Raisin Cane again, Lord child. We eat here almost once every two weeks. I guess it's the equivalent to people kids eating McDonald's all the time. He just eats the bread. So we have fun at Michael's and after this we're gonna go to Party City just to look around to kill some kill some time and then we're gonna go to go home at the Party City go home. It's early, it's not even noon yet, so alright, let's go ahead and eat, baby.